back to a new video today i am going to review slash flip through um the verbal math lesson step-by-step -step math without pencil or paper um i got this from the library like i get a lot of my review books so i've have had this sorry i'm like stuttering today i have had this for about two or maybe three weeks and i have not made a video about it because i just been pushing it back um this is level one at age four to seven um, I have tried this with the twins, um, and it's actually pretty good. I wouldn't say that I would use this as a math curriculum, but I will recommend as a supplement. So let's just go through, and so just a little every day, that's the way. Children learn to read and write bit by bit and might by might, never anyone. I say, leap to knowledge and its power slowly, slowly, hour by hour. That's the way, just a little every day. By Ella Wheeler Wilcox. And so I guess there's more than one level, but I, I'm not sure. If you guys want to see the other levels, I'll look it up and in my I'll look up in my library to see if they have it and I'll make a review. Just let me know. So this is the lessons and what they go over. Like I said, I have tried this book and I really did enjoy it. I'm pretty sure I tr this is the same company from the, um, that they have a reading curriculum. I'm not sure what it was called, but I made a video about it. Here's the introduction. Pause the video if you would like to read it. And here is working with nothing. And this is the first exercise. I do want to say that I'm not going to go page by page because... This book has over, how many pages? Like 300, no, not 300, around 100, almost 200 pages. So I don't really want to go step one page only because it's going to take me so long. So I'm just going to flip through this book. And yeah. So the way that you pretty much just do this is read to your child and they answer the question. They have like here where it says answer and the child will just give you the answer and that's pretty much it. Like you don't have to do anything like they said in the beginning. You don't have to grab um, paper or pencil. You just do it by talking and a lot of kids um, can learn math or can learn anything by you just reading to them. It is in black and white. There's no color at all. So if you, um, ooh, sorry. If that's something that you don't like, then this may not be the right curriculum for you. It looks super boring if you really look at it. It does not look fun at all. But when you actually, like, read it, the little, like, excuse me, questions are really fun for kids. Um, we did, we made it into a game. And that made it a lot more fun. Here are some of the questions. It does advance super quickly, so I don't know, like, maybe you can last in one lesson a couple of weeks, depending on your child. Then the thing, the thing that I was wondering is, you could actually make this a, make this curriculum, um, what was I trying to say? Um, you can use pen or paper, like, you can give your child, um, I'll show you, like, stuff like this to do. So you don't have to like completely eliminate paper and pen. This is not going to be a super um, fun flip through because this curriculum is not that fun. And I will be making another flip through of another book and that book is not fun either. But I wanted to give you guys a kind of inside look of different options that you can go for when it comes to your kid's subject. Like, you don't have to go with, like, a Becca or Saxon or Horizon or teaching textbook. You can go with something simple like this to teach your child to read. Well, I'm not to read, to do math. It's not that much work. And I this book, I'm not sure how much it costs. I'll link it down in the description if I remember. But if your public library has it, you just take it out and continue taking it out until you finish it. And like I said, there's other levels. So this goes, I bet this goes pretty high. Let me just give you a little look of some of the question. And we're in lesson eight. From what I have noticed, this just mainly goes over addition and subtraction.
And what I meant by supplement is like, let's say you use Horizon. Sorry, let me close the book for a second. Let's say you use Horizon and your child is not getting a lot in like addition and subtraction. You can use this book to maybe once a week. So like there's one day where you won't do Sorry, there's one day where you won't do Horizon and you would just do this. Or maybe you can do like one day Horizon, one day this workbook. Or maybe one week Horizon, one week this workbook. Um, and this would like maybe be a really good choice to, you know, to mix it up if your child gets bored really easily. Um, yeah, <laughs> again, this I don't really have a lot to say. Uh, the kids liked it. We played, we played little games like I asked them the question and they answered it. So, this wasn't, I haven't, like, a lot of the curriculum that I show you, I don't really, um, let's skip to a little bit. Um, I don't, oh, they do, they have adding money. I didn't, that's how much you can tell that I really didn't flip through this book because I did, like, the first couple of pages and some in the end, and then that's it. I didn't do any more. Um, this curriculum, I would not use it at all. I tested it out for my review, but I didn't go in depth with it like I mentioned I didn't even get to lesson 20 um but we just played different games and the kids enjoyed it um I obviously you know they were not the ones that were looking at the paper I was the one who was reading it to them They go over addition, subtraction. They still go over addition, subtraction. A bunch of um, word problems. If that's something that maybe your curriculum doesn't go over a lot, word problems, then I definitely recommend looking at this. Okay, let's go to the last page to show you guys. Not this one. Okay, so this is what the last page looks like. It's pretty much just a bunch more of a bunch more um, word problems. At the end, it just has some information from the company um, and their website. In the back, here it is. A fun step-by-step -step way to learn math without, own, without any writing. Learn math verbally as a game with quizzes and word problems. No dreary worksheets and no handwriting. Learn speed and accuracy. Learn efficiency, mental... Sorry, I'm like looking somewhere else. Learn efficient, efficient mental shortcuts and see immediate improvement in, write, in written work. Head start for later grades by learning how to solve word problems. Verbal math lesson level one is suitable for children grade one to K, age four to seven. So that is the verbal math lesson level one. Um, not much. This book, this book is not really like, oh wow, I'm gonna go out and use it. I found it in my library and I decided to just look into it and see what it was like. But I don't recommend this curriculum, like I said, as a as a main. Um, math curriculum for your child this would be more of a supplement or maybe your child is having a hard time with what they teach in this level subtraction addition word problems but this is not really that great of a curriculum in my opinion I have reviewed this company before and I didn't really like their reading curriculum either they just have something about it that makes it super boring and not that fun for me um, and it doesn't catch my eye so that is pretty much it if you guys have any questions on this book or this workbook let me know in the comments down below give this video a thumbs up if you liked it um subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video bye